See, this is why I get so confused. None of this shit makes sense. Oh, nope, my bad. What's going on, guys? Today we'll be running through the LSTM code once again. Try number three. We'll see how it goes. I do want to say it's like 3.40 p.m. and I've done absolutely nothing. I, I will be moving tomorrow, so that might impact the vlog schedule, but we'll see. Worst case, I make a vlog about moving, right? But for now, my friends, today, where's my pen? Where's my pen always run off to? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go through this code line by line with our hello example and see see what it's like. I think that will give me a better understanding of it. Worst case scenario, what I what I will do is I will just copy this code, just paste it into like uh, like a notebook and just go through it line by line. If I do that, I might just jump into translating this to Lua um, rather than putting it in Excel first and then going to Lua because this whole Excel thing just seems like it's not really working out as well as I'd like. So first self.x. Now our RNN is equal to an array of zeros length input. Oh my god, why do they keep changing names for everything? So this is a return from from here. I'm just gonna make an error. This, this is why I really want this the, the Surface Studio laptop. Because the Surface Book, I, I would love to, I would love to flip it around and, and actually write on it, but in order for me to take the top of it off, you guys can't see anything. There's no point in But the Surface Studio laptop is makes more sense and it's more practical so than the Surface Book. Output. And then learning rate. Right? I'm just gonna keep it at that. So that's what pa gets passed on to it. it for some oddball reason. They then have to go ahead and change the name. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been trying to understand this for such a long time and I can't understand it. Maybe that's why I'm a little salty. So then self. Dot x is equal to an array of zeros length input. So input is number of categories. Number of categories is unique words. You see what I mean? Like there's so many different names just referencing the same thing. Number of unique words is four. One, two, three, four. Output size is five. Here's my problem with output size being five, though. We don't have that. We have four. One, two, three, four. We'll go back and understand your output yeah, size. Yeah, so I guess this is point number one of confusion for Like me. basically this is saying that if, if a sentence has five words in it, or actually in our case, if the word has five letters in it, you're outputting five letters, but that's not the case because you feed it H at the very beginning and then it spits out an E. So that's the first output, then it spits out an L, another L, and then an L. Oh. So I guess that's a point of confusion for you me. Let's just continue going through the code and hopefully this all makes sense. The okay, end. so apparently recurrences is equal to output size and output size is a five. I really don't understand why. So we're going to stack okay, and we're just going to add one time step for t minus one, I'm just gonna call it. And then all these will just be zeros. We have our I, I just don't understand. What what are they doing? Like they feed it the word and then they expect it to spit out the same word and then start the sentence or? Okay, I'm so confused. Anyways, now we move it to, so LST to LSTM is equal to, oh sorry, the values that we're passing to LSTM are input, output was five, I'm assuming. No, output is also four, okay. So why do you need Five recurrences to make an output of four. What the hell is Okay, my bad. Yeah, output is just the number of words you will be, oh sorry, the bits in their final output. Okay, and then recurrences is five because we want H-E-L-L-O. Sure. After the initialization part, we just want to run through forwards. What we're doing is we're, set, we're setting LSTM's X is now equal to horizontal stack H-A minus one. Did we even set H-A? Oh, we did. Okay, so H-A is uh, just four zeros, two, three, four, and self.x. So self.x at this point in time is just still equal to zeros. Okay, now let's go to forward prop. And so what you're next. doing is you are multiplying and passing through the sigmoid self.f. So self.f is this guy and self.x. Why, why, why are we using recurrences of five when recurrences is supposed to be four? That's the part that I don't understand. Because his HA, I don't know why it even has that size of recurrences of output. Because my HA, well mine only has I, I just wish that this was, this was, there were, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm terrible at, terrible at commenting. I just wish this was commented, like why, why are we using 0 0.9? Okay, you know what, this is what I'll do. What I'll do is, because I don't want to make another vlog where it's just me 
being confused. I think we've already beat that horse. I'm still confused as ever. It's not going to change. So what, what I'll do is I'll do some more research. I'll play around with it on my own. And then hopefully either, you know, sometime later today or tomorrow or whenever, I will show you guys the final. I'll just walk you guys through it. What I might do is I might just play around with this guy's code in Python just to get a better understanding of, of what it's like. I had a thought. I use Excel to better understand how neural networks work and, 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 and take a look under the hood. So I'd still prefer to use Excel or I'd still prefer to do this in Excel. But one thing that I had, one thought that I had was why don't I just replicate this code in Excel and just see how that goes and see from there. And hopefully from there, what it'll do is that not only will it help me understand how the, how like this code, I think it's just me that doesn't understand how it works. But what I can then do is, you know, certain areas that I think need to be, um, or that I may want to go ahead and change up, like this section right here, recurrences plus one, I can then go ahead and I can, I can see the effects, the consequences of those changes in Excel. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know, I didn't think of this earlier, to be honest. So what I'll do is I will just completely get rid of everything. So let's go ahead and read our input. When is return data ever used? The return data is never used? Okay, so I'm ignoring that completely. Output is an array of zeros. So unique words, number of columns, so four columns. And output size, five columns, one. That's our output. Again, for our own understanding. So this will be H, oops, E, L, and O. It's time step one, two, three, four, four five. Output. But the way he, the way they have it here, I'm not gonna bother arguing against so it. So from zero to output size. Okay, so I may actually just count this from the way Python would. So from zero to four. To four range. Why would you do zero to output size? Anyways, I'm not Again, what I'm assuming here, that this is just doing this. That's what I'm assuming. And even though I completely disagree with it, we are moving. Actually, on. you know what? Let me fire up a notebook. I actually tried running this code in, in Jupyter Notebook. Full of errors, man. Absolutely full. Of I just errors. ran it in, uh, uh, or at least the functioning part of the code in Jupyter's Notebook. Um, and yeah, that's I was pretty much right. This here is just Hold creating up. this. So self.ia is the only one that has recurrences plus one and input. Everything else has recurrences plus one and output. But input and output are the exact same thing. Okay, so actually, whatever. whatever. Now, now that I've run this line in my Jupyter notebook, it actually seems to be different than what I was expecting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Seems to be, what's actually been done is, this makes no sense. This code, like this line of code here, what it does is that it creates a row of zeros before this. What the hell is going on? So then we have a row of zeros. But why the hell do we have a row of zeros? How does this make sense? What does this represent? I don't know. It's just there. Such a headache goodness sake it says it's shifted by one time step but i'm very confused because it's like where's the time step then because if this is the time step i would have expected you to have one one additional column this is not the time step these are the letters that you have how would you do it like this now we're now we're done with that disaster and like it it, it just seems as if like i've i'm i was i've been complaining this whole time but I actually, it could make sense and I'm just not understanding it, but the way I'm looking at this right now, this makes zero sense whatsoever. Now self.f, which is our forget gate, is four by eight, okay, and that's just random. That's for the forget gate, that's for the input gate, for the self state, and then output gate. Okay, so that's all done. So our RNN for prop for eyes from, from range one to self.recurrent is plus one. My head hurts, my head hurts. So last tm dot x is equal to. And so I guess this is where I'm wrong because I treated an h stack as if it was a v stack. Yeah, so an h stack just all stacks i one minus two. one, so the h a zero, and then I'm stacking that on top of self dot x. And then from here we then go into forward prop for the, our lst. So now we have f a local variable that is going to be equal to matrix multiplication of self dot f by self dot x you see what i mean like that's just not compatible see this is why i get so confused none of this shit makes sense oh nope my bad 
I said it too. This is an H stack. I was shooting at like a like a V stack. Okay, okay there we go. Now it's gonna now it's gonna work. Still is this even working code? Okay, this this just has to be overly complicated. There's no way they can be this difficult. I'm actually lost for words. I can build an RNN. Why am I having so much difficulty building an LSTM? I'm actually very, very confused. Okay, that's that, I think. Then self.cs is equal to self.cs. This has to be a matrix multiplication. How do you just do self.cs and use multiply by f? How are you doing that? I'm pretty sure this should be a matrix multiplication. So go ahead and do that. That looks a lot like it makes more sense to no it does not because this is I a, give up again. I'm gonna have to pick this up tomorrow. I give up on Excel, so tomorrow I'm gonna do it in Python. And I'm just gonna walk through every single thing line by line in Python, make sure I understand what the hell he, what the hell's going on here. And then from there, we're just gonna skip Excel. We're gonna go straight to Lua because I just wanna get back to making games. I don't wanna be spending so much time like reading people's code. But what I'll also do in the meantime is what I, I, I will go through and I'll try to see if there are, are if there are other LSTM uh, implementations from scratch that I, can, that I can take a look at and I can try to implement. Yeah, otherwise, I guess, I don't know. I'll figure something out, so.